This Moose Belongs to Me by Oliver Jeffers. Wilfred owned a moose. He hadn't always owned a moose. The moose came to him a while ago, and he knew, just knew, that it was meant to be his. He thought he would call him Marcel. He began following Marcel, explaining the rules of how to be a good pet. Much of the time, it seemed as though the moose wasn't listening, but Wilfred knew he was, mostly because he followed rule number four very well, not making too much noise while Wilfred plays his record collection. Sometimes the moose wasn't a very good pet. He generally ignored rule number seven, going whichever way Wilfred wants to go. The moose had a very good sense of direction and Wilfred did not. And because the moose was partially, particularly poor on rule seven, subsection B, maintaining a certain proximity to home, Wilfred quickly learned to bring some string along their outings so he could find his way back again. Sometimes the moose was an excellent pet. He had no trouble with rule 11, providing shelter from the rain, or rule 1b, knocking down things that are out of Wilfred's reach. Wilfred says, good work. One day as Wilfred discussed their plans for the coming year on a particularly long walk, he made a terrible discovery. Look at Wilfred's plans. He has big ideas. But he made a terrible discovery. Hmm. Someone else thought she owned moose. Rodrigo, you're back, the old lady said. Wilfred was dumbstruck. This moose was Marcel, and not Rodrigo. The old lady was mistaken, and Wilfred only thought it proper that he correct her. This moose belongs to me, he explained. And to prove it, he called Marcel. Heel, he said. But the moose did not respond. He seemed more interested in the old lady. Good Rodrigo, she said. Fine, Wilfred said. Embarrassed and enraged, Wilfred rushed off for home. But in his haste and miles from anywhere, he tripped over his string and got tangled up. Oh no. And there he lay. Wilfred was beginning to get a little bit worried. It was getting late and the monsters would be out soon, he thought. Poor Wilfred. He had just ruled out the last of his options. Let's see what he thinks about. When along came the moose and performed rule 73 brilliantly, rescuing your owner from perilous situations. All was forgiven, and perhaps, Wilfred admitted, he had never really owned the moose anyway. With that in mind, he and the moose reached a compromise. The moose would agree to all of Wilfred's rules. Whenever it suited him.
it's almost the end look what we see on the last page a little old man saying dominic you're back and you brought me an apple it looks like the old lady and little boy aren't the only people who think they own the moose hmm the end